All right, Google has just released Notebook LM videos, something that a lot of people are very excited about. I just got access minutes ago, so I'm gonna very quickly show you in about five to 10 minutes how these work, what I think they're good for, and show you a live example. All right, let's jump in. No more chit chat. Uh, let's get straight to it. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, well, my name is Jordan. I run Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream, podcasting newsletter, helping everyday business leaders learn and leverage generative AI. So this is our episode from yesterday. It includes a transcript, uh, all of these things. On Mondays, we do what's called the AI news that matters. So I'm going to go into Notebook LM and you'll see the new section over here on the right-hand side, which is video overview. All right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a source. Uh, I'm going to paste in this text right here. Uh, within a couple of seconds, Notebook LM goes through, it digests it, it automatically uh, kind of gives me a summary, et cetera. So there's newer things in here aside from just the video overviews, but I just want to focus on the video overview uh, for this. So uh, what a lot of people might overlook is you can actually customize this. So I can just click video overview and it's going to create essentially a video slideshow uh, based on the content that I put in here. If I put in multiple sources, which I'm not going to do here, uh, you can only select certain ones and just have the video overview over those. Obviously, uh, Notebook LM has gone mega viral over the past year or so because of the very popular audio overview deep dive podcast, which is two very realistic AI voices doing a podcast uh, essentially on any of the source materials that you upload inside of Notebook LM. All right, so uh, you can click this and customize it. Uh, so I'm not going to do this in uh, this video, I want to get a little more practice uh, on this customize, but I did want to see, uh, to show everyone exactly how this works. So it says generate an explainer video presented to you by AI English only. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click that and you'll see over here in the new studio UI, uh, you know, you can actually generate multiple things at once. I'll probably do another video uh, at some point showing exactly how that works. So uh, I'm going to let this go live here for a couple of minutes so you can see exactly how this works in real time. Uh, so a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, here we go. So this was just announced by Notebook LM uh, from Google. If you don't know Notebook LM, I have a couple of videos already um, going over the basics as well as some of the more advanced features. But I think it's probably one of the most uh, useful and most underused uh, generative AI tools out there. So it's powered uh, by Gemini 2.5 Flash, uh, which is a hybrid model. And now the big thing, like I said, is the video overviews. So right now, this is only rolling out to people um, in English speaking countries, it looks like, um, as well as uh, the desktop version. So what you can do is create visually engaging slide summaries of your notebook content. Um, and as well, they do have these new studio UI updates. And the biggest update here um, is you can create multiple outputs from the same source, uh, including audio overviews. You can listen to audio overview while using other features. So essentially multitasking while doing those audio overviews, which is huge. It's actually something I was reaching out to the, uh, the Google team about uh, a couple of months ago. And also you can uh, select different sources when creating those outputs. Uh, so Let's go ahead and check in on this. There we go. So it looks like it's still working. I'm guessing it's going to take a while. I do want to still do this live without hitting pause, uh, without making this video too long. So what I will do is give you uh, a couple, uh, some more information on exactly what this is for. So the video overviews are essentially narrated slides created by um, Notebook LM that provide a visual alternative to audio overviews. So it includes new visuals, images, diagrams, quotes, and numbers pulled from your documents. So again, my document here that I just copy and pasted this off the website, it was going over, I believe the top uh, nine AI news stories of the week. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if it uses all nine, uh, if it's pulling different stats and facts that I mentioned in the transcript, uh, what it's going to do. Again, I did not use the customized feature, uh, so kind of leaving it a little bit up to uh, Notebook LM video overviews in this case. Um, also, the purpose, it is designed to help under, to help users understand complex concepts by illustrating data, demonstrating processes, and making abstract ideas more tangible customize uh, what you want to do in the instructions like I showed you there. So you could say, 
and I really recommend you do this. I did want to do a baseline first uh, and let a lot of people know how this works. You can say, I don't know a lot about this topic, but help me understand diagrams. Or you can say, I'm already an expert on X and my team works on Y, focus on Z. Uh, so a couple just different use cases uh, that me and uh, ChatGPT came up with. Uh, so using a uh, using the video overviews for a scientific research paper breakdown for graduate students uh, and onboarding video for sales teams, uh, right? Getting get rid of the, the boring old uh, you, you know text only SOPs. Uh, number three, a financial uh, report summary for non financial executives. Again, just helping to much better uh, communicate. Um, uh, you, you know complex messages. Um, Another one is a medical case study review for clinical testing, and then an exam prep video break, uh, breaking down you know key concepts. So Notebook LM, I think it is a great and underrated learning tool. I think a lot of students use it, but I use it all the time as well to help me prepare for my daily podcast. Uh, so let's go ahead, check in on it. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, I think this one is going to take a minute. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click pause, uh, and I'll let you know exactly how long this video took. All right, and we're back. Uh, so it just so happened I, I had a quick uh, meeting and it did finish in about 13 total minutes. Uh, so now we have the AI, uh, the uh, sorry, the Notebook LM video overview completed uh, for this. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, I'm actually going to have to stop sharing my screen here and share the tab uh, so we can hear the audio. Because what this does, uh, I believe, is it does the normal kind of uh, AI overview podcast, but with the visuals as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen here. Uh, and then I'm going to share the tab. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to hear the audio. Give me a second here. All right, so one thing to keep in mind, which is I'm actually having problems playing this now, is this isn't available on all accounts yet. They didn't say this, but I have paid uh, Google Gemini accounts on my workspace or my business account, and then I have a paid account on my personal Gmail. And it only worked on my personal Gmail, which is in another browser, so um, I'm going to have to hit pause again and figure out a way to bring this over so we can take a look. All right, got it figured out. Signed into my personal Gmail account, which is a paid uh, account. You do, uh, they didn't say this in their release, but I do believe that this is only to paid users right now. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and share that screen, make it big, and hopefully uh, we will be able to hear this. So again, here is the video overview. Uh, it looks like there's an option to rename it, download it, share it, or delete. So let's go ahead and take a look and a listen. All right, so uh, I'm going to have to click play on this. I'm trying to see if there is a full screen mode. Uh, it doesn't. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Uh, all right. And let's go ahead and play this and take a look. So again, uh, here it is. It says the AI news that matters, July 28th, 2025, uh, which was the podcast date and kind of the, uh, the name. So let's go ahead uh, and do a quick look. Welcome to The Explainer. You know, sometimes one big tech breakthrough happens and it just sets off this incredible chain reaction. Today, we're going to connect the dots on a story just like that, linking a powerful new AI model to new coding tools, new government rules, and even a booming black market for computer chips. So what happens when the next generation of AI actually arrives? Well, that's not a what-if question anymore. A major new model is about to drop, and it's already changing the game for literally everyone, forcing competitors, governments, and even criminals to make their next move. All right, so let's get right into it. The Catalyst. The big domino that's about to fall is OpenAI's GPT-5. And get this, it's reportedly launching as early as August. That is way, way sooner than anyone thought. Now you might be thinking, oh, another update, but no, this is completely different. See, past updates were really just tweaks on an architecture that's already two years old. GPT-5, it's being called a massive leap forward. We're talking about- it. All right, so, so good, uh, so far, Pretty impressive. So a couple of things that I'm hoping. All right, good. We have playback speed. I'm terrible. I'm a terribly impatient person. Whenever I listen to audio or video, I try to listen at least 2x. So uh, let's go ahead and 2x this so we can see a little bit more, a couple more uh, slides here. Advanced reasoning. That's so powerful. Early testers said it could answer questions using personal context that the human testers themselves completely missed. 
Think about that. This isn't just an upgrade. It's a whole new class of problem solving. And OpenAI isn't just keeping this incredible power locked up. They're planning to release smaller, mini, and nano versions through an API, making it more accessible. The hype is already off the charts. You've got these mysterious code names like Summit, Zenith, even Lobster and Nectarine popping up on test platforms. And the people lucky enough to get a taste, they are reporting some seriously mind-blowing results. So yeah, this isn't just a quiet leak. It's a very loud, very public sneak peek. So you can imagine, with OpenAI making such a huge move, everyone else is scrambling to keep up. But here's what's really interesting. They're not just trying to build bigger, better models. Instead, they're in a race to win over developers by making AI easier for literally everyone to use. And this has sparked this super cool new trend called vibe coding. The name is kind of perfect, right? The whole idea is to empower, say, a marketing team or just anyone with a cool idea to build their own custom AI tools. You just use simple natural language prompts, plain English, and you can completely skip needing a whole team of professional software developers. All right, so I won't go through the whole thing here, but it, it's doing a very good job. So let's look at this, uh, this little slide right here. Um, this is great. So I had two separate AI news pieces that weren't back to back. So it did a good enough job being able to pull specific information from different parts of the video and combine them actually into one story. So I was curious, is it just going to give me, you know, kind of uh, nine different slides of the nine different AI news stories? Not necessarily. And it actually did a really good job transitioning and segueing uh, from one of the major stories and then combining these two different stories. So going like you saw there from the GPT-5 news, uh, it had a couple of slides for that. And then it's combining two different pieces of news here where I talked about Google's new vibe coding uh, tool, Google opal as well as microsoft github's new tool um called spark so that one should be github spark uh but this is pretty impressive it made a comparison chart uh just um just uh according to the transcript um of what i put in there so overall i'm pretty impressed so far a couple of things to uh, point out. It doesn't look like it's two voices anymore and it's a new voice. Uh, you know, I think some people got like very used to and accustomed to uh, the two different voices that they had. So it looks like it's a new voice. Uh, you can do speed controls. It doesn't look like you can edit uh, this in any way. I'll double check that before we close this video out. I think it does a really good job with the details. Impressive uh, putting together different charts. I'm going to kind of scrub through here, see if anything else uh, pops out. Great visuals, uh, being able to pull out and highlight these quotes. Very nice. It looks like it's making uh, some charts right here. Very, very, very impressive. So again, I didn't have time to look at this uh, for accuracy, uh, but first impressions, very good, uh, very impressive as well. Uh, so uh, I'm going to double check here to see if we can uh, do any kind of editing. I don't think we can in the video. Um, no, you can just rename, download, share, or delete. But again, uh, if you want, you can obviously customize this. But overall, I'm extremely excited. I use Notebook LM uh, frequently across all of my different accounts, and now I'm going to be using it even more. So let me know what you think in the comments. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. Uh, but again, uh, Notebook LM video overviews are out. I think right now they're very impressive. Uh, check your different account. You might have to log out, log back in if you want access. Uh, they did say they're slowly rolling it out over the next week or so. So if you do have a paid Google Gemini account, you should be getting access to this video overview feature. So uh, if this is helpful, please let me know. Subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, and also go to youreverydayai.com. Uh, sign up for the free daily newsletter. We do this every single day on the podcast. I should probably get back to doing more of these tutorial videos. I enjoy them. I hope you do too. All right. I hope this was helpful. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.